Hi, Ruby here. So today I'm gonna touch up my hair and I thought while I did that I could just do a little life update, talk about what's going on and I've been away for a while so I'm just happy to be making another video and hopefully explaining what's been going on a little bit without further ado. This is my plan. I'm gonna put some pictures so you can exactly see what's going on, but basically my roots are very grown in with my natural blonde color. There is a pretty distinct line where you can see, um, it, it looks bad. I need more of a gradual situation going on. So I'm not gonna, gonna completely um, bleach up all my everything up to the root, but what I'm gonna do is kind of bleach highlights going up to the root, so it's kind of more like a balayage here situation. And then what's going on with the ends of my hair is I have this unintentional ombre because I had my hair dyed yellow and then orange. The orange will never come out, but the yellow obviously did. So I've got blonde and then like ginger hair down here. So what I'm gonna do today is touch up my roots, make them just blonde, tone, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna take this pink color, which is like, it's a coral semi-permanent color by Color Charm, Wella. Bought this at Sally's. Um, it doesn't last super long, but I thought it'd be fun to pop that in as well. What else do I have to say? If you hear that noise, I don't know if you heard that noise. If you hear a weird noise in the background sometimes, a weird beeping, it's this thing, it's a heart monitor, we'll talk about that later. But first, let us start the process. This is my sacrifice to the hair, hair dye gods, the shirt. So, already got that on, got some sweatpants on that I don't care if I drop bleach on them. I kind of want to put this on first just because it's going to be less time sensitive than the bleach, but my worry is if I put color on the ends, I'm going to have a harder time working up here. I'm only going to bleach a mohawk section of hair. I watched a couple of hairstylists on YouTube do this at home in between their um, salon colorings, they will do root touch-ups on themselves, and they will only do the part around their part. So they'll take a middle section like this and just um, do that because it's what most people see when your hair is styled anyway. So I normally part my hair around here, but I'm actually going to do the whole section around the crown of my head because I switch parts sometimes uh just in case i switch parts i want it to all be even generally it's over here but who freaking knows i'll dye my hair and then the next day i'll want to do a middle part or something so let's just go ahead and i'm going to section off i'm just gonna put this up pretty tight and we'll come back to it in a minute um, if you want a super in-depth tutorial of how to um, balayage your roots at home, I'll put some links to some videos that I watched to learn how to do this process by professionals. I'm going to go ahead and start telling you about my life. What is new? So Christmas just um, got over with. We are moving. So just about two months ago, our roommates, me and my boyfriend, we live with another couple and they came to us and said that they are ready to make a next chapter of their life and they are moving out of state. Um, they're gonna move somewhere where their industries kind of make more sense for them. So that is so exciting for them, but it also means that we're not staying in this big house anymore. So uh, my boyfriend and I started looking for a two bedroom, two bath um, apartments in the Portland area. And we actually found one and we're getting our keys next week. We've lived alone once before, just the two of us together. But this is the first time that we are going into a lease with only the two of us. So that is so exciting. Look at this color. 
Look at that color, so coral. Yeah, I just wanted to make this ombre going on look a little bit more like I meant it. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> we have signed a lease and we're so excited. Um, the apartment is in a good area for us. It is in a good price for us and we really like it. It's, it's like a two story loft type apartment because neither of us have ever lived in apartments before and only having one floor in my house well, this sounds, I mean, I've been super privileged, both of us have, that we've always lived in houses. Even when we're renting, we've rented houses. And part of that's because he's a musician. Um, also, I just love old Portland homes. But yeah, we really, when we started looking at all these apartments, um, always gravitated towards the ones that had stairs on the second floor. So our... Our situation is kind of a loft. Um, it's still a two bedroom, two bath, private bedroom, but it's gonna be really cool. That sound, did you hear that? That's the heart monitor, so sorry if you hear that. Uh, so we are so excited to take this next step. Um, this apartment complex, I think we're looking at being more long-term. Um, so far we've lived like two years at each place we've lived since we moved out of our parents' homes. And I think this one is gonna be the one that we're gonna stay with for a little while. It is gonna go a little lower in the back. So these look, I would say pretty even to me. And let's look at the back. Ugh literally straddling a chair right now, so. I think they look even enough. It's not a huge deal. So, let me go in with that pink. Moving comes with new opportunities, which is a perfect segue into the next life event, which is we are... <gasps> Wow, that was crazy. It just like rolled down my pants. We are definitely decided on getting a cat. We both grew up with cats and it's been like honestly so depressing just like not having one the past few years um, for both of us. Ugh, come on. Yeah, we both grew up with cats and we've just rented in a bunch of places where landlords just didn't want us to have cats. It's always like, some dogs are okay, but no cats. And I'm like, you're afraid of cat pee, but my cats don't pee on things because I train them, like, stop. But anyway, yeah, so we are super excited to adopt a cat. We're definitely going to like rescue a cat. But yeah, so that's really exciting too. That's gonna be, the next step for us is gonna be living alone and raising an animal. Which sounds very adult, if you ask me. Sounds like the next thing to do, logically. Uh, but yeah, we've just really missed having a cat, and every time we go back to our parents' house and see our cats, it just is more and more emphasized to us that we are cat people and we are supposed to have felines around. And I definitely know that it would improve everything about my life. <laughs> okay. So those are my four sections. I'm gonna take these gloves off and then we can start on the bleaching, rooting situation. Let's move you up a tiny bit. Okay, that seems like a good angle. My very front hairline, last. Like just these tiny little, do I have a clip anywhere? Oh, look at what I have. Amazing. I really should be using a mirror. Ugh. Okay, that is gonna help me tremendously. <laughs> uh, ignore anything you see behind here. It's not real. So I am gonna work from the front and go back because I want the front to be um, lighter, that frames my face and all that. I'm gonna leave the baby hairs out uh, because they are really fine and I just wanna have most control over that section. So I'm gonna go ahead with 
this. Oh, you know what I should do before I start this? I should mix my bleach. <laughs> wow, priority is here, am I right, ladies? That's not gonna be enough. Since I'm moving, I've already packed up a bunch of stuff. So I actually had to dig out this hair dye from a box I already packed because I didn't think I was gonna be doing this. And also, I don't have mixing bowls or my brush or anything very important like that. So no, this is not for mixing purposes. This is for, I haven't packed my kitchen yet purposes. So I've got a good amount in here. I'd always rather have too much than too little. And um, since I don't have a brush today, I have this little toothbrush that's going to mix and I probably won't use it to apply, but we'll see. And I have 20 and 10 volume. I'm probably gonna use mostly 20 and then tone it down a tiny bit with the 10. Um, if you did equal parts, this would make 15 volume. I'm gonna go for about a 17 or 18, um, just because my hair does lighten very fast. I just don't wanna damage it. Do you wanna see this process? Do you care? I don't think so, okay. I do like a thicker formula just because I have really fine hairs and so it's good to know that it's actually like in there like sticking so my hairs aren't just slipping around you know. This toothbrush isn't the best mixer but it will get it done. So yeah I will definitely do a empty apartment tour when we get the keys for you guys um, and then of course I'll do an apartment tour once we're all settled in just so that I can show you what it's like. Um, I'm very excited about it. Like, as far as apartments go, it's gonna be very aesthetically pleasing, which is necessary for me to thrive. Bleach. I'm not afraid of it drying out because I am gonna use foils, which is so cool. This is actually my first time bleaching my hair with foils um, because I am not a professional. But we strive to be better. So I'm gonna take that same section like I did earlier and find it again. And then I'm gonna brush everything else back just so that it's out of the way. So here is my first section. I am going to, I don't remember what this is called, but oh, my hair is so fine and short. I'm gonna do a little zigzag through my hair. Take the back out. And this is where my foil is gonna come in. So. So I'm pulling it really tight. Um, so this is a straight line and then these are my hairs. Once I get to about here, I'm not gonna put any bleach on because that part of my hair is already bleached. I'm not gonna do any more damage to it than it needs. Here we go. Okay, and once that is saturated, I'm gonna take the little blonde piece, put it to the side, and then fold this over. Um, so that when it's in there, it doesn't get pressed up against the bleach anyway. And I am ready to keep going back. Whatever I filter out, I'm gonna put to the front. I did this slightly backwards when I first did it. But now that I've got these hairs hanging over that I'm not gonna bleach, what I'm gonna do is take my comb, put it here, put this down, and that is what we're bleaching. So two things just happened. One, I got bleach on my hand, which I'm going to very nicely wipe on my shirt. She has been forsaken to the bleach gods. Um, now I'm gonna re-grab this hair. Well, this isn't good, you can't see me. Um, I'm not going all the way completely up to the root. I'm basically slowly making myself a hat. 
Okay, I'm gonna put gloves on because I totally forgot to do that, holy shit. And I'm gonna have to start working a little faster. So while you can't see me, let's talk about my heart monitor. What the frick is that about? So basically I've got this little doohickey here. It's got cords and I've got some electrodes. So two down there, one here, one here, one in the middle. So the deal with that is I occasionally have something seemingly random I have something called ectopic heartbeats. So basically your heart is four chambers, two upper chambers and two lower chambers. The top chambers say ba, the bottom chambers say dumb. So ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum or whatever you want to make your heart heart uh, heart sound be that you know and love. So ba dum ba dum ba dum. There are a small cluster of cells at the top that channel electronic pulses down the heart and tell them when to go ba -dum. And that is how your heart uh, pumps blood through your body. That's how it all works. Think about this as like a conductor to an orchestra. All of the cells in your heart are doing their part and there's a conductor. There's a small group of cells at the top that is the conductor. But the cool thing about the heart is all of the cells in the heart actually have the capability to be the conductor, but they don't. They know their role as I'm over here cell or I'm over here cell. They know that they are to do as they're told. They are to buh or dumb when they are told to buh or dumb. And that's how it goes. But what happens with an eptopic heartbeat, getting messy over here. With an ectopic heartbeat, basically there could be a cluster of cells somewhere else in the heart, a cell or a few, or maybe in multiple spaces that go out of whack. For some reason, some other cells are taking over being the conductor. And it's pretty common that this will happen to a lot of people. It's not life-threatening at all. However, it can be, it can be associated with an underlying condition. Um, sometimes it just randomly happens and you can live your whole life with these beats happening and it's totally non-life-threatening at all. But sometimes it can be indicative of a underlying uh, problem. Um, maybe with your heart, maybe with your brain's um, impulse sending. So basically what this heart monitor does is I, there are all kinds of heart monitors. Some you wear for 24 hours and you press the button every time you feel something weird. Um, some you can wear for two weeks or three weeks or stuff like that. So basically, what I, the one I'm wearing is for 30 days and I just wear it. Every three days I change these little stickers and then I stick the electrodes back on. Um, I sleep with it, I just wear it constantly. And it, in real time, can send results to my doctor. Uh, it uses AT&T like satellite. So it's super cool. Um, it just sends information electronically, is that what you would say? Um, over to a doctor. I got some bleach on these bits, which is not ideal, but it means I have to keep putting bleach on these couple of bits. So yeah, um, that's how everything works, but basically mine are, I've not ever had like a heart event or trauma or problem, but I do have these beats, um, and I was concerned because I just didn't know what they were. So I went to, I was referred to a cardiologist and he explained it to me and we will see how often they happen. Maybe we'll notice a trigger of, oh, it always happens when I am sleeping or always happens when I'm working out. And then we can um, go down our road from there, whether or not it's threatening at all or whether or not it's just a quirk that my heart does or, um, if it's because of something else, you know? This could be a precursor to some other thing. That's just really cool. Medical science, man. I know that 
in 30 years I'll laugh at this statement but I feel like it's so advanced and we can do so many cool things it's just really awesome so yeah that is what's going on with that hope you got a little um, cardiology 101 today from me <laughs> So the other weird thing that's going on in my life right now, besides this, what's happening? Oh my God. Oh, first of all, there is a rat in my house right now. We have never had a rat. We've never had any rodents in our house before. Um, we live in a pretty old house and it does have a full basement. And we've had, you know, bugs and stuff, but we've never really had to call an exterminator. We hear critters on our roof all the time, but they've never been in our roof. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to make more foils. But yeah, my roommate saw a rat today in our kitchen and she like screamed, as you do, I guess, when you see a rat. And we came downstairs and yeah, we didn't see it, but now um, JD has seen it officially. I don't want to kill it is the thing like I want to like I don't know I can look at a rat and be like that's a squirrel you know just think about it the same as a squirrel and I know that's not a popular opinion but I don't know man I don't know what we're gonna do about that it's pretty crazy and the fact that he was in our kitchen for a minute too like so I'm gonna do a couple of um slightly bigger sections as I get to the back. Yeah, so that's crazy. Let me know if you guys have rat stories or like how you humanely like catch them and like free them. But yeah, so. <laughs> ah. This is so funny. So the last thing that is kind of uh, different about my life right now and new is that I am not working. So if you know me, you know I work at a restaurant. My boyfriend works at the same restaurant I do. So we have a lot of friends in common, like all of our besties um, are from work and stuff. Oh no, I forgot to get a foil. Worked for me. Yeah, so when the first freeze happened with the pandemic and everything, uh, we let like a bunch of our staff go on furlough um, because we were takeout only. And we thought, of course, you know, this is just gonna be a temporary thing. But as we know, this has all lasted like longer than I think anybody thought. In Oregon, we just went through another um, series of freezes due to the weather getting worse and numbers getting a little worse as well as the holiday season coming up because we knew we were going to have another spike after the holidays of course. Everyone who had been furloughed had come back and then shortly after we went on another freeze and people were furloughed once more. So instead of JD being furloughed this time, I basically was like, well, it's my turn, you know? Everyone's done the unemployment thing and I just kept working the whole time. So I was like, I don't know. It just felt like, it felt like my turn. Hi, so my battery died, so I went and changed it. So if the picture is a slightly different, um, that's why I apologize about that. But I did the last foil going back. So now I'm gonna flip all of these back. These are not in good shape. These are not professional. Ah. Oh, right, that's where that happened. So, flipped all those back. So now I'm gonna go after these ones in the front. Gonna put my gloves back on. So where I left off was basically I have been furloughed, which means um, put on kind of a temporary leave from my job um, and I am eligible for unemployment. That's what's going on right now. Um, it gives me a lot more time to focus on packing and planning uh, the move and also a lot more just like artistic freedom um, as far as making videos and 
doing stuff for Instagram, photo shoots, that kind of thing. So that's really cool. I'm actually really excited. Um, of course, it is scary to be furloughed from a job, but I mean, I don't know, man. This is just the year that it's happening. Um, I've watched friends and basically friends and family kind of go through it. So all of this stuff, I'm actually not going to separate um, any pieces out. I'm going to bleach the whole thing because it's going to be kind of my money piece right by my face. So I'm just going to bleach the whole thing. Just so you know what's going on. I am going to stick it all back and go in with the bleach. And this front piece, I'm actually gonna heat up after I put bleach on it so that it lightens the fastest because I did it last um, out of all these pieces so that it's lighter than everything else, which is kind of backwards if you think about it, I know. So the other thing I'm gonna do is touch up um, around my face this way. So when I pull it back, um, these pieces are also affected by the bleach. I'm gonna take out the rubber bands and just the front. Ow, ow, owie, ow, ow. And I'm going to section an inch from my hairline down behind my ear is where the section is going. So anything behind that, just getting tucked away. Okay, sorry. These hairs will lighten really fast because they're baby hairs. So that's why I'm doing it last. Can't see. Here we go. And now I'm gonna do the other side. Sorry, that was like so crazy to watch. What was that noise? I don't even know what, I don't even recognize what noise. Fold it over the comb. Press it in place, solid, I'm completely blind, my phone just vibrated. Is it working guys? Am I doing it? Ah, we out here. Okay, now I'm gonna go like that. <sighs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. My ends are pink. Oops. My is like this. I am going to go and blow dry the uh, front just a little bit and then I'm gonna check this in about five minutes and every five minutes and then I will be back. Probably not more than 15 minutes from now. And I'm gonna rinse out and style it and then I will be back after that. So, yeah. All right guys, here it is. Completely styled and dried. This is how my hair turned out. So you can see on the bottom, there's definitely some added darkness at the bottom. I wouldn't say that it went pink, but it definitely did um, enhance the kind of ombre effect that I already had going. As far as the roots, they are totally lightened up but in a really natural kind of way. It looks way more like my hair was naturally blonded from the sun um, and there's a nice gradual um, change to the root. Uh, right after I bleached, I actually used a conditioner that had a little bit of pink in it. So there is a slight blushy color in my uh, top of my roots that will definitely go away probably like the very first time I wash it. But yeah, just wanted to kind of show you what's going on. The whole, the whole hair is kind of like warmed up a little bit from the color we added on the bottom as well as the accidental pink on the top. Yeah, like I said, that pink will definitely go away like in the next wash. But yeah, definitely not that bad. Um, and it'll wash out like tomorrow probably. Now let me show you the back. So this is the back. I think 
get freshened and like brightened a lot. There's no harsh lines anywhere. Which was definitely the goal. Uh, just to say one last thing, we were talking about the restaurant industry earlier a little bit about how turbulent it's been this year. So my boyfriend was furloughed earlier in the spring and I am now on furlough right after Christmas. I'm actually making a whole video about that. I have taken anonymous surveys from people who work in the restaurant industry in Oregon and around Portland. People that I do not know and people that I do know um, have shared their experience with me and I'm really excited to come on here. So that's what my next video is going to be, so watch out for that. Um, hit the subscribe or the bell if you want to be notified when that video comes out. I think it's going to be really interesting. And that is my next video. I'm actually going to film probably just later today. So yeah, it's kind of like a more serious and like really interesting topic that I wanted to bring light to, um, spread awareness and stuff like that. So thank you so much for watching. I'm very happy with how my hair turned out. I hope that you got something out of this video and I'll see you pretty soon in the next video as well as I will do my new apartment tour pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Okay, bye.